Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 2A. The question I'm going to do is number 2. So the question states, a car driving on a straight road accelerates with an acceleration of 3 meters per second from rest to a speed of 24 meters per second. So what do we do? The first thing we do is we draw our speed time graph because it's, remember, it's not, a, it's, it's, we're not given directions, so they're not vectors we're dealing with. So a speed time graph. Remember you say what's on the x, or sorry, on the y-axis first. So there's our y-axis, and uh, we're going to say that's, we're, that's speed, and that is in meters per second, like that. And we say that, that this, the, this, this axis here is time measured in seconds. So the, it's driving in a straight road, accelerates with an acceleration of 3 meters per second. So its initial speed is 0, so you start off from here, and it accelerates to a speed of 24 meters per second. So how am I going to do this? We'll say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 5, 10, 15, oh, get around, what am I doing? What am I doing at all? Right, just so I don't clock, clot up the whole thing, clog it all up. Um, right, we have to find the time taken. So he's got to a time, I'm just going to call this time t, because we don't know what it is. So, at the end of the time taken, he's at a velocity of 25 meters per second. So, because it's uniform acceleration, the acceleration is in a line, and therefore you can draw the line like this, rather than the squiggly line, for a, a non-uniform acceleration. So... We drop our perpendicular here, and that's our uh, that's that's our graph. Now the next thing is we know that the area underneath this curve is equal to the distance. Um, so that would be of course half the base by the perpendicular height. So it would be half times t multiplied by 25. Okay. So and that that's equal to the distance. But we don't know what the time is, so we best go find that out. So what do we do? We begin with our u vast formula. So we have u, v, a, s, and t. Our initial velocity is equal to 0. Our final velocity is equal to 25. Our acceleration, I keep saying velocities and I mean to say speeds. Our acceleration is 3 meters per second squared. Our distance is unknown and our time is unknown. So what formula, what formula can we use? Well, let's try v is equal to u plus at. Why would you try that? If you look, v is equal to u plus at. How many of these variables do we know? We know this one. We know this one. We know this one. The only one we don't have is t. So that's perfect. So 25 is equal to 0 plus 3 times t. t is equal to 25 over 3. And that's measured in seconds. 25 over 3. Let's check that off the back of the book. And it says 8 seconds. 3 eighths are 24. Am I after missing something here? Yes, because I said this is 25. That's actually that's actually 24 in the book. It's 24 in the book. So it's 24, 24 here, and that's 24 seconds. 3 eighths are 24 is equal to 8 seconds. So that's exactly what we had in the book. Now, by the way, just to point something out. See, I did the, I did the question there. Uh, I knew that I'd done it correctly, and yet the answer was incorrect. So I knew it was only a, a, small, a mistake on my own part. And that's how I was able to find it. We'll say 24 rather than 25. So that's the way you should approach your, uh, your questions as well. If you make a mistake, you should be able to realize whether or not you've uh, made a mistake in your own, in your own calculations. Uh, if you actually understand the things, and if you don't, well, to be honest, you're, you're really at nothing. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, by the way, a point to note as well, my arithmetic is terrible, and I'll probably be leaving out things left, right, and center. But uh, I'll see if I can fix them if I can. So now, anyway, that the time taken was equal to 8 seconds. So we, found we have to get the distance. What formula do we have? We have v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Uh, s is equal to u plus v over 2 times t. Um, s is equal to ut plus half at squared. So which formula here works best? Well, this one probably seems the easiest because we're using a, a u, or even this one here. In actual fact, yeah, they're all they're all pretty same. So I'm actually going to go for this one here. I'm going to say s is equal to u, which is 24 plus 0 over 2 times 8. So that's 12 times 8 is equal to 96 meters.
Let's check that at the back of the book. And we have 96 meters is correct. So I hope you see that that's not, that's not too difficult. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and pass it on to your friends.